A young Japanese exchange student testified in her own defense in Victoria Supreme Court today. Narumi Bido is accused of disposing the body of her dead child last year and failing to obtain help before the birth. Amidst tears, the UVic student described how a month and a half after arriving in this country, she gave birth alone in the middle of the night to a newborn who showed no signs of life. Kristen Robinson reports. Narumi Bito leaves BC Supreme Court after taking the stand in her own defense. The 21-year-old Japanese exchange student tearfully explained how on September 16th of last year, she woke in the middle of the night with excruciating abdominal pain. Bito went back and forth to the bathroom at her Saanich homestay house two or three times. Before she testified, she put pressure on her abdomen and the baby came. Beto looked in the toilet and saw the baby. The defense asked, did it make any noise? Beto replied, no, I couldn't hear anything. I tried to scoop it up, but there was some connection between the baby and me. I tried to cut the cord. Beto bled a lot and was in panic. I was wondering what happened and I didn't know what to do. She removed the fetus from the toilet and passed out before her homestay parent, Gail Floyd, knocked to see if she was okay. Beto explained she did not try to hide the fetus. Quote, it is true I did not know what to do, but discarding did not come to my mind at all. When Floyd left for work, Beto wanted to wrap the baby in her own towel. When she couldn't find it, she put the baby in a plastic bag and placed it in her room. Because, she told the court, I just wanted to be together. Beto did not tell anyone about the birth. Floyd discovered the bag ten days later and police were called. Beto testified she felt she deceived and disappointed her mother and grandfather, who arrived from Japan after she was released from custody. She's charged with concealing the body of a child, neglecting to obtain childbirth assistance, and interfering with a dead body. The defense says Beto's mental state is a key issue for the jury. It's very important for them to hear uh, what uh, my client was going through, uh, what her feelings or impressions were. Under cross-examination by Crown Prosecutor Dan Scanlon, Beto claimed that in August 2010, after missing her period for up to eight months, she did not know she was pregnant because other than missing her period, the symptoms were not there. By September, she testified she knew she was going to give birth in Canada, but did not take steps to see to the health of the child she was carrying. She also did not have a clear plan for a safe birth. Beto says she did not ask for help from her homestay mother because she did not want to trouble her.